ஆட்டோட்ரோஃபிக் கார்பன் ஃபிக்சேஷன் அண்ட் மெக்கானிசம் ஆஃப் ஃபோட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் லெட்டஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சி வாட் இஸ் கார்பன் ஃபிக்சேஷன் கார்பன் ஃபிக்சேஷன் இஸ் அ பயாலஜிக்கல் ப்ராசஸ் இன் விச் இன்ஆர்கானிக் கார்பன் இஸ் கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு ஆர்கானிக் காம்பவுண்ட்ஸ் பை லிவிங் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் சின்ஸ் கார்பன் இஸ் அ சீஃப் ரிக்வயர்மெண்ட் ஃபார் தி க்ரோத் அண்ட் மெட்டபாலிசம் ஆஃப் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தி சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் கார்பன் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் கேன் பி கிளாசிஃபைட் இன் டு டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆட்டோட்ரோப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹெட்டிரோட்ரோப்ஸ் ஆட்டோட்ரோஃபிக் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் ஃபிக்ஸ் அட்மாஸ்பரிக் கார்பன் டை ஆக்சைடு இன் டு கார்போஹைட்ரேட்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் green sulfur bacteria and purple non sulfur bacteria heterotrophs depending on the other organisms their carbon source relies example rhizobium pseudomonas etc autotrophic carbon fixation carbon fixation in autotrophic bacteria takes place by means of photosynthesis photosynthesis in bacteria is similar to the higher plants and algae but except in few steps or processes photosynthesis in bacteria can be defined as the synthesis of carbohydrates by the bacterial chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight carbon dioxide and reductants taken from the air and oxygen is not evolved as a by product except in cyanobacteria mechanism of photosynthesis photosynthesis in bacteria takes place in three main steps first is the reduction of nadp plus or nad plus into NADH2 or NADPH2 which is also known as electron transport system second step is the production of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphorus it is known as photophosphorylation third step is carbon assimilation which is calvin cycle or c4 dicarboxylic acid cycle based on the pigment present and carbon source or electron donor utilized the bacteria can be classified into four different categories first is anoxygenic which includes the purple bacteria and green bacteria and then oxygenic bacteria which includes the cyanobacteria and prochlorophytes electron transport system it is the first step in the photosynthesis where nad plus is reduced to nadh2 which is later used during the carbon assimilation this process takes place in the outer and inner membrane of the photosynthetic bacteria in the purple sulfur bacteria first the light energy is trapped by the reaction center p870 from this the excited electrons passes through a series of electron carriers namely bacterial chlorophyll bacterial pheophyton quinanon and after reduction of quinanon the electron slowly moves through the cytochrome bc1 and cytochrome c2 complex and finally enter into the reaction center this electron comes from the reduced sulfur compounds during the transfer of electron from the quinanon pool the electrons are forced backward against the electron gradient and reduces nadp plus to nadph2 hence this process is also called as reversed electron transport whereas in green sulfur bacteria the excited electrons from the p840 reaction center moves to p870 and then through a series of electron carriers namely chlorophyll a ferrodoxin and ferrocyanide which directly reduces nadp plus into nadh2 and finally reaches the reaction center through the quinanon cytochrome bc1 and cytochrome c553 complex photophosphorylation which means conversion of adp and inorganic phosphorus into atp involves light and which can be of two types cyclic phosphorylation and non cyclic phosphorylation cyclic phosphorylation involves photosynthesis system 1 that absorbs a photon of wavelength 725 to 1335 nanometers the green sulfur bacteria non sulfur bacteria purple bacteria and acidobacteria carry out cyclic photophosphorylation the bacteria undergoes cyclic photosynthesis via four bacterial chlorophylls out of which two bacterial chlorophyll participate in the photon observation and the other two remains inactive thus the reaction center excites the electrons to the next state via photon absorption by the special pair of bacterial chlorophyll as the high energy electrons leave the reaction center it makes the bacterial chlorophyll positively charged then the excited electrons pass through many cofactors and protein complexes in the ets and finally return to the final electron acceptor that is photosystem 1 as photosystem 2 is not used during cyclic phosphorylation no oxygen is produced 
the excited electron from the special pair of chlorophyll passes through ferrodoxin ubiquinolon cytochrome b and cytochrome f and finally into the special pair of chlorophyll and since the electrons return back to the same reaction center this is known as cyclic photophosphorylation during the transfer of electron from cytochrome b to cytochrome f adp is converted into atp non cyclic phosphorylation it requires both the photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 generally non cyclic photophosphorylation predominantly occurs in all green plants algae and cyanobacteria the pigment system 2 captures the photons from the light source and later transfers it to the chlorophyll the chlorophyll excites the electrons from the ground state to high energy level then the primary electron acceptor receives the electron which travels through the cytochrome b6 f complex to pigment system 1 via electrotransference system the pigment system 1 releases the electrons that the pigment system 2 captures to reduce the nadp into nadph it requires water hydrolysis to replenish electron loss by the pigment system 1 oxygen is produced as a byproduct through the oxidation of water and hence it is termed as non cyclic because of the zigzag flow of electrons the electron excited from pigment system 1 is used to reduce nadp plus into nadph whereas the loss of electron by the pigment system 1 is filled by the excited electron coming from the pigment system 2 whereas in pigment system 2 the loss of electron is gained by the hydrolysis of water the last step in mechanism of photosynthesis is the carbon assimilation or carbon fixation the autotrophic bacteria fix carbon dioxide either by the calvin cycle or the c4 dicarboxylic acid cycle the first stable compound formed in the calvin cycle is phosphoglyceric acid whereas in c4 cycle is oxaloacetic acid the reduction of one mole of carbon dioxide to the oxidation level of carbohydrate involves oxidation of two moles of nadph and hydrolysis of three moles of atp the two enzymes are mainly used namely phosphoribo kinase and ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase and to produce one molecule of hexose six turns of cycle is required which involves six moles of carbon dioxide calvin cycle it is also known as the dark reaction the hydrogen attached to nadph2 is used for reduction of carbon dioxide in the calvin cycle thus the nadph2 is called the reducing power of the cell in the cycle the first formed compound is a three carbon compound namely three phosphoglyceric acid which is converted into 13 diphosphoglycerate fructose 6 phosphate cetohepatulose 7 phosphate 15 ribulose bisphosphate and finally again into 3 phosphoglyceride during this process atp is produced in multiple steps c4 dicarboxylic acid cycle in certain bacterial species such as chlorobium thiosulfatophilum green sulfur bacteria the carbon assimilation occurs through c4 acid cycle they require orthophosphate dikinase for the carbon fixation and where uh, the c4 dicarboxylic acid cycle is essentially a reverse of tca or krebs cycle in this the oxaloacetic acid is converted into malate then fumarate which is then converted into succinyl coenzyme a alpha ketoglutarate glutamate isocitrate citrate acetate acetyl coenzyme a pyruvate and finally back into oxaloacetic acid and during this process atp is produced and nadph is reduced thank you